We've all been there. You just want to make a minor change and it throws off your entire grade. Or worse still, you want to move a point on a curve up and down and you keep moving sideways. You know my philosophy. Color grading is all about control. And today, these struggles are over. When adjusting color wheels or color curves, holding down the Alt key will enter precision mode. This is the movement without the Alt key. Let's reset this. And this is the movement with the Alt key. You can see my mouse is traveling the same distance, but the puck in the middle of the color wheel just doesn't move as far. Again, without the Alt key and with the Alt key. The same is true for color curves and hue saturation curves. If you create a point and drag it up and down without holding the Alt key, the changes are quite broad. But if I reset this and create a point again, now I hold down the Alt key and as you can see, the changes are much more subtle now. The next tip works with curves only. So you can use it with the hue saturation curves or the color curves. For this example, let's switch to the hue saturation curves. I will create some points, like so, and I select a point and move it up and down. But as I'm moving up and down, you can see I'm still moving sideways. So I let this point go and reset it. Now I hold down the shift key and drag it up and down. And as I'm dragging up, you can see I can now move my mouse sideways without the puck following me. So I can move up and down, but not sideways. If I let go of the shift key, I can go sideways again. Let's reset this. If I take a point, hold the shift key and move left and right, Final Cut Pro will lock the vertical axis. So as you can see, I can go up and down and nothing happens here. What if you want to be locked in one direction and move precisely? You simply hold both keys. Let me select these reds here. Let's say I want to change the hue of that. Therefore, I want to move vertically only. To do that, I hold down the shift key. But I want to move precisely as well, so I hold down the Alt or Option key too. If I drag this control point down, you can see that I'm moving in very, very small increments. And up again and down a little bit. If I let go the Alt key, you can see that the changes are rather huge. And if I press it again, you can see that the changes are very subtle. If I let go of the Shift key, you can see that I'm now able to move sideways as well. And if I let go of all of the keys, you can see that I have the entire freedom of moving around the curve. Again, the Shift key will lock you in the direction you are going first. So hold down the shift key and go up or down, you will be locked in the vertical direction. Hold down the shift key and go left or right, you will be locked in the horizontal direction. Unfortunately, if I switch to the color wheels, holding down the shift key does nothing here. So I can't be locked to one axis with the color wheels. But to adjust the color wheels precisely, as we discussed earlier, we have the Alt key. By the way, the Alt key works for the handles for saturation and luminance also. This is without the Alt key. And let's reset this. This is with the Alt key. Again, my mouse is traveling roughly the same distance. But what if you're using the color wheels and you want to go in one direction only? Well, simply select the wheel you want to work with by clicking it, and then you can use your arrow keys. So just tap up for going up and tap left for going left. And you can see the adjustments are very precise. Using your arrow keys works on the curves as well. So if I go back to the color curves, for example, I just can create a point and this point is automatically selected. Now I just tap the up key or the down arrow key or left or right. And as I mentioned before, this works with all of the curves. So if I switch to hue saturation and if I create a point and select this one, I can move this one with the arrow keys as well. To go one step further still, you can change your mouse sensitivity. So for example, I'm using the lift for Mac and this button right here is for changing my mouse sensitivity. If you have a look at my screen, this is my day-to-day -day mouse speed. And if I push the button, boom, I'm in precision mode. By the way, the Alt key won't work in your timeline. To adjust something precisely in your timeline, you would need the Command key. Adjusting the audio level, for example. This is without the Command key. Pretty rough again. Let's reset this. And this is with the Command key. I just hold down the Command key and as you can see, I can adjust the volume very precisely now.